Seven News obtaining new video attempt from inside the Denver jail. Security camera footage showing Deputy Matt Andrews getting onto an elevator with inmate Felix Trujillo, disguised as a fellow deputy, helping Trujillo escape. Another camera showing the two walking out of the jail together. Matt Andrews was sentenced this past Friday to six years in prison for his role in that escape. And that escape prompting new developments tonight. That case is just one of several high-profile misconduct incidents this past year. Now the Denver Sheriff is making changes. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live with the Sheriff's announcement about mandatory ethics training. That's right. Tonight, the Denver Sheriff is announcing that here this year, every sheriff's deputy will be required to have ethics training and training on reporting changing behavior among fellow officers. And that says a lot about the image issues at this department after some very public problems. You know, this is a high stress job. A tumultuous year for the Denver Sheriff's Department started with a deputy helping an inmate escape. We will continue to uh, review policies and procedures just to make sure that this situation never repeats itself. But that was just the beginning. The independent monitor found reported misconduct wasn't being investigated. Then a probe into bad behavior leads to this. The second highest ranking member of the Denver Sheriff's Department has resigned. Finally, another deputy arrested, accused of plying young girls with alcohol. Is this a widespread problem within the Sheriff's Department? No. Uh, I'm Quite the contrary. It's Major Frank Gale problem. says the misconduct is isolated, but the department recognizes their image is tarnished. They're taking action with new ethics training. This is clearly something that the sheriff's department has needed and needs, and it's a good thing that they're doing it. ACLU Colorado says training's a good first step. The sheriff's also started a task force to examine how they handle complaints and an early warning system to identify officers under high stress. And like any any uh, agency, uh, public or private. It, there will be people who will commit acts of misconduct. And we think we're defined more by how we respond to that behavior than by whether or not people commit that behavior. And the sheriff says this is a high st stress job and the new training will also tell officers about support services and resources available to help them deal with that stress. Reporting live in Denver, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.